Hello, hello. Welcome to Readings with Christy. I'm just going to take my seat. I know I'm a little bit late today, but that's okay. I'm here now. So we're going to do some mini readings as we do every um, Tuesday. Uh, what can I use here? So come in and say hello, guys, as you're joining. Hey, Racina. Hey, Sophie. Hello, Emma. All right, so hopefully that'll work. All right, so we're going to do some reading. I'm going to use the chakra cards as well as maybe a few more. Um, I've got a few different decks here, so I just want to see whatever I'm drawn to, I will use. Um, hey, Sally. Hey Rashida, hey Sophie, Cassidy, hello guys, hi, hi Belinda. Okay, so as we've got people joining, I just wanted to let you know um, that my name is um, Christy and um, I do a show on here every Tuesday night at 7.15 to 8.15. Um, and yeah, it's called Readings with Christy, funnily enough. So, hey, Sharon. Um, so, yeah, so I run a little uh, group on Facebook called Clarify My Journey. So feel free after this live or whenever you hop off um, to join. It is a closed group, but I will approve you once I am finished this live. Um, so, again, that's called Clarify My Journey. And I would love for you to be there. We do workshops and readings and all sorts of things. I hasn't really done, I haven't done a lot with it just now, um, but I definitely will be um, getting on there uh, much more actively in the next, in the coming weeks, which is, which will be fun. So I look forward to that. Um, got lots of workshops to put out there and all sorts of things. So I, um, yeah, I'm excited, very excited. Um, okay, so who's up for a reading? Hey, Sophie. I've said hello to Sophie, haven't I? Hey, Samantha. Hey, Tanil. Hey, Kylie from New Zealand. Hello. Okay. All right, I'm just going to go to whoever is whoever I'm drawn to. Um, I don't always get to see the comments like you guys do, so just be patient. Um, but I will go to whoever I'm drawn to, and that's who I know needs the readings tonight. Um, oh, thank you. You like the name of that? Yeah, it's, there's a page and there's a group. Um, the group is a closed one. That's the one you want to go on. That's the one where I'm more active on there. Um, but, yeah, because that's what I feel like I do, right? So I clarify people's journey. I clarify and confirm probably what people already know or... Um, you know, give them some sort of guidance. But either way, it all boils down to having a lot more clarity in life. And that's, you know, all we can all we can ask for because, you know, there's not one sole person out there that's got every answer that you need. Sometimes we think we need something and we may not. We may need something different, um, you know, and, and I guess guidance and clarity is, is what it all boils down to at the end of the day. It's what we're all sort of looking for. Um, and yeah, I love to be able to help people with that. So, you know, that's that's why I came up with that. Um, okay, so. Who am I drawn to? All right, let's see how we go here. I'm not going to be specifically going into any direction. I'm just going to go to whatever is drawn for you. So you feel free to ask questions. If I'm drawn to answer them, I definitely will. Um, <clears throat> but overall, I'm going to use the chakra card. So for the moment, anyway. Samantha, let's do a reading for you, lovely. Um, yeah, so for the most part, I'm going to use this. I've got crystal cards here. I've got focus cards there. I've got tarot cards. I've got all these cards in front of me. But I feel like these are going to be the best ones um, for tonight. So, hey, Gay. I am well. I hope you are well also. 
All right, Miss Samantha Love, what is it you need to know? There's some, you or someone close to you is needing to go to a bank soon or there'll be some sort of, they just showed me the word bank. Um, so I don't know if it's bank account or going into a bank um, for any business loans or something, but yeah, someone is in need of either going to a bank or assessing their bank account. Um, Also, someone going to be going to a festival or planning to go to a festival very soon. Um, okay, so this one here, I picked up faith. Okay, so faith um, is, is, it's when we're sort of needing some more guidance or a situation comes up where we, it feels a little bit hopeless or we're not sure how to get there or we're not sure what's going to happen. Um, it's sort of, you know, in those times where we lose our faith that we need it the most, right? Um, and this is like... Um, you know, they're really asking you to keep the faith, right? So, you know, I just, I, I want to say that there's something that, um, there's something that you know, but you don't have confirmation on. So I want to say, go with your gut, um, trust your intuition. You're extremely intuitive. I also feel like there is something about someone wanting or will be starting their family, um, very shortly. So you may find that there will be a pregnancy of some, uh, a pregnancy or, a, um, a baby, um, either way that there, there is birth, um, and there might be some new light or some new birth on a new job for you or someone close to you as well, Samantha. So there's something really exciting there. Um, there's also also something about products. I don't know if this is beauty products, but somebody is um, looking at different products. Um, and oh, there's lots of stuff coming through for you. What else is there? Um, bear with me a sec. Um, yeah, so there's something about trialing out new products or having new products. There's something like that. Um, and um, yeah, there's something about somebody wanting to paint, like they're showing me a painting wall. So somebody's either going to be renovating or redecorating at some level because they're showing me a paintbrush. So that's usually my sign for um, redecorating or revamping a house. Um, so there you go. So this that, that's there as well. Um, but trust your intuitions, trust your guides, know that you are on the right track. Um, there is something about giving birth to more than just one thing. So it's one, there, there is a child or starting a family or planning for a family, but there is also giving birth to something um, much more practical so probably something in the in the lines of career, um, business, um, house, things like that. Just make sure you're manifesting what you need to manifest in because there's something like you already know what it is you want or there's something you already know that needs to happen and it's just about trying to call it back in now. So there's something about wanting to manifest what, what you need right now because um, that's going to be quite important going forward as well. Um, yeah, I... I'm not going to say you won't, Samantha, someone, either you or someone close to you, there is something about a pregnancy. Um, so yes, there are two births. So there is a pregnancy of a birth, a baby, and there is also a birth of something else. So um, something, yeah, there's a couple of exciting things on the, on the horizon there, um, either for you or someone close to you. The next one is facade. So it may be feeling... Just be aware that make sure you're talking about how you're feeling rather than putting on any facades or... Um, you know, masking anything that you're not talking about. So making sure you're being really open and honest with how you're feeling. Um, there is something about having a conversation or spending more time with a child um, or a family member that's really important to you. They, they, there's something about, you know, reconnecting in with this person um, and no facades, like everything drops down and just be real and raw. There's something about really connecting in and, and, and uh, walking away feeling quite uplifted, to be honest. Um, something's weighing quite heavily financially for someone. Um, so they're feeling it in and around their stomach area. So just be aware of that area, the uh, um, solar plexus. Um, and it also, the other card that I got for you was crystal, a crystal card I pulled also, which was golden calcite. So inspiration, I am an ins I'm inspired in all that I do. So this is like really having the faith about all the things that you do and really sort of taking ownership of what you can create with what you have um, and knowing that you've done your best with everything and there's nothing to feel guilt or lack in any area. So um, really sort of look back and, and really get quite comfortable with being proud of where you've come, you know, how far you've come and how far those you love have come as well. Um, I want to say there's a male around um, the family or you um, in regards to just being aware of his back. Um, there is something around um, having a sore lower back. Um, it does feel like a male energy, um, but yeah, just be, be aware that that's there as well. So thanks, Samantha. I hope that gives you a little bit of clarity and... Um, yeah, good luck with everything. All right, 
Rebecca. No, that's not it. Where are you? Where have you gone, Rebecca? There you go. I'll just pin you there. So, Rebecca, 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 you are welcome, Samantha. I hope that made some sense and gave you a little bit of clarity there. So, um, yeah, some exciting stuff in there, which is always nice. All right, Miss Rebecca, what do you need to know today? What do you need to know today? What do you need to know? What does Rebecca need to know? Okay, over here. Oh, interesting. So faith card has come up again. Okay, so again, this is when a situation um, comes up that is, um, you know, in need of some faith, some, you know, um, keeping the positive vibes alive, like really trusting intuition. It is about, um, you know, really being guided to trust. Um, it's not about having facts and figures in front of you. It is about having the faith and trusting that, you know, everything will be okay. Um, there is something about um, worrying about someone's health. So someone around you or maybe you, um, there's something about being worried about someone's health. So someone's been carrying the weight of for someone else um, in regards to health issues and worry. Um, the next one is isolation. So um, it's about, you know, making sure um, a lot of us have been going through some COVID stuff. Um, so yeah, just make sure that you're isolating yourself, but not too much. So it's like, you know, make sure you're taking that quiet time for yourself, but, and having those moments, but it's not isolating yourself and, and shutting down emotionally. So this is telling me you're quite a sensitive soul. And it's like, you know, sometimes you can shut down and, and revert back in when things get tough or when tough situations come up. This is saying, just be careful not to isolate your voice, okay? Isolating yourself and your voice. Um, really important you learn to speak up and start asking for what you want rather than sitting back and being, you know, willing to take whatever comes. It's like, now, what are you going to go get? You know, what is it you're going to go and um, pull back into your life, right? So, and the crystal card that came up for you was red tourmaline. So that's passion. It says, I am the embodiment of passion. So it's like time to find um purpose or it's time to move forward with your purpose so either way red tourmaline would be a great crystal um, to have in this regard in regards to igniting and inspiring you to take um much required action because your passion may have been um overshadowed perhaps um so this is really saying you know time to get that passion back and do some great work so that is how i would um put it um but keep the faith don't isolate make sure you speak up make sure you're getting out there and doing what you need to do rebecca but um yeah there's some there's some great things there and there's something about um someone celebrating um there's something about someone being very excited and in a, a really like a dress like dressed up so there's also a celebration to be had for you or someone close to you that's they're quite excited about it as well um which is always nice um and I want to say someone is gluten intolerant. So someone needs to be aware of um, gluten. Gluten, yeah. So there you go. Um, so I hope that helps you, Rebecca. Um, thanks, Helen. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. All right, Helen, let's do one for you, lovely. No, Mel, it's not the only way to be drawn whatsoever. No, I, no, not at all. Not at all. Oh, you're gluten intolerant. Okay, so yeah, just be aware of what you're eating. That's all. Um, yeah, yeah. There's something about worry um, that comes up, but there's also worry in regards to health. So I'm not sure if you can place that right now, 
um, but somebody's carrying the worry of health as well. So somebody is feeling the, the worry or the pressure um, and somebody's either worried about their own health because of this or they're carrying the weight for someone else. So just be aware that this may not have happened yet, but either way, um, <clears throat> it's definitely in the cards for you, lovely. But thank you for letting me read for you and I wish you all the very, very best. All right, so... Okay, so Miss Helen, let's see, what does Helen need to know today? What does Helen need to know today? Helen, 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 okay, there you go, Helen. Helen, have you been a bit tired? Like, are you quite, um, there's something, my energy just went right down, um, so... Yeah, I just felt overwhelmingly tired and I feel like um, I've been a bit stuck um, or someone's been a bit stuck to the couch. Um, so let me know if that makes any sense for you, Helen. There's just a sense of feeling really like, um, you know, when the weather's gloomy outside and you want to just stay home, that sort of feeling. Um, so, yeah, somebody's feeling really quite, um, you know, unmotivated or a little bit washed out. Um, what does Helen need to know? What does Helen need to know? There is someone around you that may be traveling or moving to um, somewhere quite sunny or going on a holiday. They've just shown me a big sun, which means holiday or vacation, um, usually to somewhere quite sunny. And um, yeah, there's something about someone doing that. There's also They're also talking about a caravan, going around in a caravan or going on holiday via the caravan. Um, so yeah, so please know that that's, um, that's also coming up for you, Helen. Um, I don't know if this is for you, Helen, but there's something about um, a male being in spirit with heart. Um, I feel like it was like really um, quite tight in the chest. I don't know if you know who this is or, um, but yeah, this is someone in spirit. So it's either for you or someone close to you. There's someone and it keeps taking me to the, the breath and it's like, and it's like quite pressure, <laughs> a lot of pressure. Um, so the cards that you got here is, um, um, self-worth okay so this is right down in our sacral chakra so just be aware of any digestive issues bloating um anything down in and around the lower tummy area um this is all where we hold our self-worth stuff so this is where you know we stuff our emotions as women we stuff them right down as far as we can go of course we do we try and put them down there as far as we can go um and this really does bring up some self-worth issues so this is stemming back from childhood or from past um, and it's saying, you know, it's it's quite a lonely road because no one can actually or very few around you, if, if anyone, can actually relate to, to, you know, how you're feeling. Um, so sometimes I don't know if people find you quite cold, even though you're a beautiful nurturing soul, it shows me that. Um, it also shows me that there's a little bit of um, a part of you that can shut down completely. So um, it's really about um, not not. Mm, how can I say? Um, yeah, there's something about either feeling iced out or feeling like you've you've been isolated. Um, I don't know how to put it, but there's like a it's like you're on an iceberg and you're in the, you're you're on your own sort of thing. Um, so it can be quite a lonely place to stem from, and it's like you know getting back your your motivation is going to be important going forward because it's like you know your throne is there you just haven't taken the seat um so it's time for you to take your seat it's time for you to um really um uh how can i say absorb um all the positive energy that you can and, and allow it to go outwards, but not allow everybody else's problems to be part of yours. So I, I feel like the weight of my shoulders is um, weighed down. I haven't seen any comments, Helen, but um, let me know if you know this male in spirit because he's definitely coming through for someone. He's bothering me at the moment, not bothering me in a bad way, but he's like, you know, don't forget about me. So um, I do want to just bring that back up, uh, Helen. It'll be for you or someone close to you. Um, uh, as I say, it's a male um, chest, chest, uh, pain or um, pressure and there's something to do with the heart um, so and then the next card is quest so it's like you know talk up about what you want like really start to get really clear about what it 
is you want. Um, don't stay stuck because of other people. This is about moving forward for you. Um, so it's like speak up, make sure you're saying what you want and calling it back in. Um, the next one is amber. So the crystal that's really good for you is amber. It says, my ancestors are guiding me and loving me now and always. I am open to receive their support as well as their wisdom. Um, so that's a really, really cool um, sort of little message to have. And it's just, you know, it's just a little bit of a reminder. But overall, the two things that... Um, need to be the quest is also about going on a journey so it's about going into that next phase it's about moving on to better bigger and better things so you know kind of get excited about that one but it's like it's got to be spoke about um in order to bring it about so if that's what you want i'd definitely speak up about that and start sharing how you're feeling about it um and let's get that self-worth up because you need to take your seat on the throne um it's your throne to take so that's your reading helen i do feel like um i do feel like um I go more down the natural route, but um, there's something about B12. So I don't know if somebody needs a B12 shot or somebody needs a bit of B12, um, but that is also coming up as well. And getting thyroid checked, there's also something about the thyroid, um, either being underactive or overactive, um, but it is not in balance. So in and around the throat area. So yeah. Okay. Um... Ashley, are you able to tell me what my stone is? What does that mean, Ashley? What's stone? Do you have a stone and you want me to identify it? Or I'm not really sure, love. If you can give me some more information, that would be great. Um, all right, let's do a reading for you, Ashley, and let's see what comes up. All right. So as I say, just for those of you that have just joined um, or have joined, uh, weren't on at the very beginning, uh, my name is Christy. I come on every Tuesday at 7.15 for an hour and I run a little group called Clarify My Journey on Facebook. So feel free if you haven't joined already to join. Um, there's workshops in there, mini readings, um, just all things spiritual sort of thing. So, um, you know, really good to sort of get in there and see if you love all spiritual stuff. Stuff, it's a great place to sort of go in and have a look and you know connect with some pretty pretty cool you know people a birthstone you think Jeanette yeah maybe I don't know I'm not sure what she was asking so I'm not really crystal stone I still don't know what you're asking which crystal stone oh Ashley you've got me all confused I don't know what you want me to tell you um all right so Let's see what cards come up for you anyway. Let's see, let's see, let's see, Ashley. All right, so you've got passion and grief. So it says that you can handle things very well and you can bounce back and get on with things. Um, but overall, quite sensitive. Um, and there's something that hasn't been dealt with in regards to grief. Um, this can be losing, um, it can be losing a child, unfortunately, or um, miscarrying. It can be um, losing a animal or a pet, um, but it, or a family member of some sort. Um, so there's some grief around either you or someone close to you, Ashley, that needs to be worked through through um there there is something about it still but still playing a big part within your heart chakra um and you know that's not not a great place to be in at times so it can really make the lows quite low the low times or low energy times um so yeah there's something around um doing some work around that area would be great um a bit of reiki or a bit of healing or whatever the case is so hopefully that makes sense to you but there is something someone either you or someone close to you is still within the grieving process there is something that still needs to be released um passion <clears throat> excuse me so it's saying you know getting back your passion it's like putting a crown on you know getting up there getting it getting things done um there's a sense of me wanting to tell you that you're a great nurturer a great carer so working with children or the elderly or people that can't help themselves it's part of your purpose so you may do it in your everyday life um 
but you know there is something about really taking that on and taking it a bit more seriously um, because you could do really big things so you're here to help others um, you stem from a place of creation and happiness and and joy and you try to really bring that to everyone around you but in turn it can make you feel a little bit depleted so it's important that you do things to actually enhance your energy as well um, there's something about reading something important that's coming in for you or someone close to you someone's either going to be waiting on news or there's some unexpected news that'll be coming through so um, a really great way um, you know to receive some some good news um, there is also something about um, roses um, and and gardening um, it's also good to re zhuzh yourself i guess in the garden um, it's a great way to ground um, and there is they're also showing me red roses so some uh, someone in spirit is trying to come through um, to see you so um so yeah, it would have been someone that had a bit of a hard time walking. So um, someone is trying to pull through. Um, but yes, in, uh, otherwise the other cards that came up for you was Amber. So I, I pulled that three times for you, surprisingly. I shuffled them and kept trying to pull another one because I thought, no, it can't be that one again. Um, but it's about ancestors. So it's my ancestors are guiding me and loving me now and always. I am open to receive their support and wisdom. So this is about really owning what you need support wise um, because sometimes you can support others and sort of feel like you know who's there or who understands what I'm going through so it's really important you pull on those ancestors or guides or whatever you want to call it universe um, and really understand that they're there to support you and guide you with the wisdom that they have so listening is going to be key this year um, and the next one is Ruby. So it's time for me to shine. So it's like going and doing something for yourself is going to be important, whether that's a job um, or something even smaller on a, on a smaller scale as in, you know, taking time out for a massage or a little getaway or anything like that. It's going to be a great time to do that. You'll find the results will be amazing. Um, but I think you need a little bit of support at the moment. Um, just trying to juggle too much perhaps. So, you know, it's like that, um, you know, when they try to spin all the plates on their fingers or the poles, um, you know, you put too many up there, they're all going to fall. So just make sure you're looking after you um, because there is a sense to tell you to just slow down and look after yourself. Um, so, yeah, so I, I just wanted to let you know that. Um, there also is an older gentleman coming through as well. I need to bring them all through. I don't know if this is for you, Ashley, um, but this is someone that has um, a grey moustache or a goatee or something. There's, there's definitely facial hair, um, you know, larger than life sort of looking, um, you know, a really, really sort of happy sort of guy. Um, it's so hard to do it with four kids. Yeah, I know, I know. But you know what? we can we can do anything as mums we um i've got four kids myself and my husband has been away for the last six months so i get it um and you know it is definitely not easy so make sure you've got a good support system make sure you've got some good people around you and you know try to open up and trust them you know even if it isn't someone that you're necessarily really close with that might be someone that's just it feels right in the moment you know don't don't shy away from that but there is a sense of you know, connecting and having that support with someone is going to be important for you. So, um, yeah, don't feel like no one understands because they do. They do. All right. So thank you for letting me read for you, Ashley. Um, okay. Um, Tanya Dixon, let's do a card for you. Tanya, Tanya, Tanya. Oh, the gentleman that I had coming through. Oh, sorry, did I stop? I must have stopped halfway through. Um, it's a guy with, um, so he's in a blue shirt. Um, he's got like um, white hair. He's um, got a moustache or some sort of facial hair. I can only see the, the moustache. Um, sort of a bigger guy, um, quite stocky. Um, really sort of, um, you know, wise guy, but he's actually quite funny. So he's, he's sort of got that, you know, great big <laughs> laugh sort of thing. Um, you know, tries to make people smile. He really did. Um, probably liked a drink or two. Um, I can smell alcohol. So there's a sense of wanting to, um, you know, have a few drinks. Um, and there's a J name connected. So a Jim or a James. 
Um, I don't know if that's his name or that's who he's trying to contact, but it's a J name that's coming through. So, um, so just, yeah, I hope, I don't know if that makes sense to you, lovely, but that's what's, um, he's definitely trying to come through and he's like eating a steak and veg at the moment. So whatever that means, it means, I guess. Um, all right, Tanya Dixon, let's see. I just wish I had more time to really connect with them on a deeper level um, because once I connect with them, it's a beautiful um, connection and they just bring through so much. Um, and I just, yeah, I love it. Um, so, but anyway, all right, Miss Tanya Dixon. Okay. Oh, that is your grandfather, Ashley. Oh, how awesome. So, yeah, definitely wanted to pop through and say, like, you'll be right. It's like that, you'll be right, Dale, you'll be right. Um, so, yeah, please know that he did want to come through just to share support. He didn't come through to say a lot right now. Um, he literally just wanted to come through so that um, whoever he was coming through for, which is you, um, you know, just wanted you to know he was there for you. So, you know, sometimes we forget who might be there or we, we sort of don't, you know, think about who's there at the times. But, yeah, in times of need, there's always someone in spirit there for us. Um all right, Tanya Dixon, what do you need to know, Tanya Dixon, Tanya Dixon, Tanya Dixon? There's a, have you got a son, Tanya, or is there a young nephew? There's something about a, a male, but it feels like younger. Um, and there's something about um, eating issues. Um, so there's something about either food intolerances or um, not wanting to eat certain things or whatever. There's something about eating. Um, and there's something about not feeling like they fit in. So there's a young boy that's not feeling like he's fitting in, um, having a bit of a rough time. So, um, yeah, I don't know if that's connected to you um, per se, but that is what's um, coming through. So i um, just trying to ask for a little bit more clarity on that. Um, yeah, there's like... Um, so, yeah, self-esteem issues. So that's not for you, Tanya. Okay. I don't know who this is for. They're showing me a young male. Um, it's got a few selfie... Uh, oh, only the dog. No, no, no. It's not a dog. Um, there's something about um, self, uh, self-esteem self issues and, um, you know, having a bit of a rough time trying to fit in amongst his group of friends, um, maybe even acting out or going really quiet. Um, there's a sense of not feeling himself. So um, there's something going going on and they want me to um it's like a little ray of sight they're like they were like a little ray of sunshine and they're only half of themselves now so their little personality has been put aside for now so um mm, there's something more there what what else do you want me to know what else do you want me to know <sighs> something about fearing going swimming with the class um or with others um mm. Yeah, they want him to come back. There's something about not listening as well. Um, anyway, I'm not sure who this is, but there, somebody wants to just give them a really big hug. Um, so there's like a nana or an older lady that's coming through that just wants to put her arms around him. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to let someone know in case that... Um, how old? I would say probably maybe, you know, 10, 12. Uh, I'm not great with ages, but around that age. Um yeah, and there's something about Nana just wants to, or Nan just wants to put her arms around um, him. Um, and he's such a kind, loving, sensitive soul. Oh, it's like you just want to tell the other, just stop, stop giving him a hard time. Um, so, yeah, so just, I'm not sure what else is coming up, but... Um, uh, They don't want me to leave it though. Is it Scott? Is there a Scott or a? I feel like it's like a Scott. Um, oh, you've got a ten-year-old daughter. No, this is definitely male. Definitely male, and they want me to. I don't know if Nan's in spirit or someone's coming through to say Nan needs to give him a hug. That's who he needs to be around more. Um, or there's something around Nan or something. But um, yeah, around about that ten years old. You know. Anywhere from like 8 to 12. I'm not great with ages. Um, he's at primary school. Does that help? Is that better? Um, I can see a, a picture of him, but I can't actually get it all out. Like, I don't know exact his age. Um, but anyway, please know that that's, that's coming. Oh, my surname is Scott. My son is. Oh, okay. There you go. So that's why Scott. Okay.
Okay. Interesting. Okay. I'll let I'll let you know if anything else comes through, lovely. I'm not sure um, why this is coming through, but there's something, it's a connection with spirit that's coming through to connect with someone that's um, present. Um, and it's all a bit kerfuffled. So, and I'm in a short period, so I'm like, come on, tell me, tell me more. Um, but it's not coming through as quickly as I'd hoped. So, um, I'll just, I'll go on and do Tanya's cards for now, but I will definitely, definitely, um, bring through any more if they do come through. We used to go swimming at my Nana's house and he was, oh, he was terrified. Was there something else? Hey, Kylie. I had a cousin, Scott, that was petrified of the pool when he was younger. Oh, interesting. Oh, maybe. Is there someone that's passed though, Tanya? Is there, because there's someone in spirit that's bringing this through. I'm just not sure, so sure if who's in spirit and who's. They're just showing me pictures of people. So, um, yeah, there's something about Nana and Nana giving him a hug. Um, there's something about him being, you know, just a little bit overwhelmed at times with things and it's like just either shutting down or a little bit of um you know you know little outbursts here and there and he's just not himself um your nana has passed okay so maybe nana wants to come through and give him a hug perhaps um i'm asking for more information i will come through if they give me any more um but yeah that 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 is definitely unfortunately i'm just a bit time restricted but yeah um i do i do feel like they they just wanted to let you know that Nana wants to give him a hug. Um, a jam buddy. A chip buddy and jam. Something about a jam sandwich. Um, anyway, I'm going to keep going anyway because I've got a few people to get through. So I am sorry. I, I, I wish they would give me a little bit more information quicker, but um, I hope that that does help. Um, oh, maybe, Tammy, see, this is what I'm going to do. Um, maybe just her way of knowing that I know it's her. Possibly, Tanya, what I'm going to do is after this live, I'm going to sit with it. And if I get any more information, I'll be sure to message either one of you because it's got to be for either one um, because they're, they're pushing me to push it out there. But it's like I've got two people that um, – Jules, go. Go. Um, absolutely don't stay. It wasn't, I didn't, I didn't even read all your comment. It was, do I stay or go? And they just said, go, get out of there. Um, so yeah, I will let you know if there's anything. So, um, I'm not sure if they'll still come through, but I, I, I need to, um, do you get light switches on and off, Michelle Clark? There's something about turning light switches on and off. They showed me a coin. Um, yeah, they're like little, little things happen all the time. Um, yeah, thanks, Tammy. Okay, Tanya, I'm just going to go on with your reading. So self-worth's come up. So it's like, you know, why aren't things working out the way I'd hoped or the way I thought? And it's like, just when you get comfortable with life and how it's going, it's like, then you sort of get hit with the, oh, but I really, you know, why can't I have this? Or why isn't that happening? Or why isn't this moving in the direction or as quick as I'd like? So there's some things there that you feel like um, are a little bit out of your control. Um, so there is, a, there is a need to sort of, um, you know, take a step back and really sort of understand what it is you want. Because there's, there's a few little, don't blame, um, I don't want to say don't, but it's not a good idea to blame self or to blame anything about um, anything about you. There's nothing about you that's brought any of this on. There's so much to be cherished around you, but there's something about closing off because of self-worth issues. So I don't know if you're aware of this, um, but, you know, it's just it's just a case of sort of easing into it a little bit um, and really getting that self-worth up there. And it's not about for any other reason other than to, you know, really pull in what you want to pull in and to feel good about what's going on and really taking walks along the beach or walks even in the in the fresh air. It's going to be great for you. So maybe even take your dog um, and go and do that because there's a sense of really having to clear out the old patterns that you've been told or that you've put in, your, you know, your own brain to reiterate to yourself. Um, um, and there's a need to really start 
reprogramming that um, to be such to be a much more positive um, energy within so yeah just know you've got it all there it's just putting some pieces it's like you know about six pieces missing from the puzzle and it's like you are so so smart um, oh yes live by the beach oh you live by the beach sorry yes live by the beach oh awesome that's exactly where you meant to be um, but it's like putting six pieces together so you know don't forget you, you know where the pieces are you've just got to grab them and pop them back into place the next one is a so financially something is lifting and looking up um, there's something about feeling heartache or feeling worry at one point in life or at one point in time um, and then it's like you know what every there's a few doors that open up and they it really does allow you to you know sit in that comfort and that that knowing of, of it's that knowing it's that comfort level that just makes you feel like okay I can breathe again and I can move forward I can do things that I couldn't do before so there is a sense of finances increasing um, the other card that come up is guilt so there's something about um, guilt either with a child or within the home or it could be with your mum it's a mother and child and there's something about someone carrying unnecessary guilt um, and it's sort of like, um, you know, it, it, they're really iterating that that needs to be let go of. So, you know, if someone is carrying guilt, it's, it's really a good time to let go of it. So there, no one's benefiting from having it. Um, but there is also a sense of, you know, know that if we, um, as parents, if our kids don't dislike us or dislike what we're doing at times, we're probably not doing it right. So this is saying you're doing a great job um, and there is something about um, someone not feeling, um, you know, quite happy about what's going on or what's going to go on. So, you know, stick to your guns is what I want to say. Stick to your guns and all will work out um, and don't feel any guilt about it at all. Um, so that is the first one. And you got Rose Quartz. So self-love, um, really great card to bring in the love to self and really sort of that soft, gentle, nurturing energy. And it says, I approve of myself. I love myself deeply and completely. So, you know, it is that, um, oh, there we go. Um, it is that sort of, you know, gentle stone that does allow us to sort of see <clears throat> you know all the things that we sometimes miss that other people get to see so you know keep being you doing it well and um yeah they're just giving you recognition for um for doing a great job and just some tools to keep going by but there seems to be a lot more of a comfort zone and a lot, a lot more level of stability um it's not about being practical it's about trusting your heart so that's what i want to say it's not going to be easy for you tanya you're very practical it's all about the practical brain if it's facts and figures or i can see it or I understand it, I'll, I can work with it. If I don't know and I just have to trust and take a leap of faith, that's not so easy. Um, but know that when you do decide to do it, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. So um, I want to say be aware of the wrists or arms or hands area. They're showing me that. Um, so there might be some pain, a, a discomfort, um, even some arthritis, um, either for you or someone close to you. There is something around that area that someone needs to be aware of, so if they're not already. Um, so I hope that makes sense to you, Tanya, and you took some clarity away. Um, Michelle, you do have light switching off, on and off. Of course you do. It is your mum. She just showed me light pushing on and off, and then it was like she showed me a coin on... Um, like a TV unit. Um, so I don't know if there is a coin there now or she's left a coin there before you before or it was just a metaphor for what she, you know, leaving a coin. But um, overall, that's what she was showing me. Um, she also, um, she talks about the back of the head. Is there something about a flatness to the back of the head or is there something in regards to the back? Um, I don't know if it's I'm not sure if it's headaches or if it's a flatness to the... I don't know. There's something about the back of the head that she's pointing to. I don't know what she's doing there. But um, Okay. All right. So who else would like a card? Uh, Laura Lou. All right, Laura, what have we 
got for you. Feel a bit flush, just watch any blood pressure or cholesterol or anything that, or even hot flushes in general. There's something about um, the, yeah, the blood, my blood pressure rising just now. So just be aware that that has come up. Um, but it doesn't mean anything bad, of course. It is just a, a sort of awareness, I guess. Um, okay, so the first card you got is abundance. So it's like, you know, if you really look around, if you've got everything you want, these cards are saying you're pretty close. Um, this is really saying there's so much to be grateful for and there's like hidden treasures amongst everything and there's opportunity within other things so it's like you know you can meet one person and that can lead to a whole nother level of what you're going to be doing down the track um the other card is expansion so for you or someone close to you there's something about expanding it's about growing your wings and expanding um Oh, she never let you touch the back of it. Oh, that's what it is. Because she sort of had a giggle and I'm like, oh, what's she giggling at? It must have been a headache. But it's like I kept pulling my hair when I did it. So that's so interesting, Michelle. So, okay. So she's like, you still can't touch my hair. Love that. Um, so, yeah. So there's, it's, someone needs to uh, grow their wings and, and, and start to really expand on what they're doing. There's something about doing it even more so. Um, it's not about playing it small. It's about going out there. It's about taking a risk financially. Um, this could be with buying an investment or buying a house or investing money somewhere. There is something about someone, you know, wanting to, um, it's feeling like you have to spend a little bit to make a little bit. Um, you spend a lot, you make a lot, um, but there's also a lot more to lose. So um, in some way, shape or form, there's something where the finances improve, expansion is on the horizon, and it says raise your standards. So what it is you're wanting for yourself, really important you raise those, and the, your next one is dove, take a leap of faith. So there is something either here for you or someone close to you, and it's time to take a bit of a risk. So that'll be interesting. Um, but yeah, Laurel, I'd say just, you know, don't get too caught up in the emotion of it all. Um, really start to look at facts and figures and, and get back into that practical brain um, because that's where it's going to serve you best, making these big decisions. Um, October is going to be significant for you um, and just watch somebody stubbing their toe or having gout in their foot. Um, somebody or arthritis, there's something about the foot area that needs to be um, aware of. So hopefully that makes sense for you. Um, if not now, that's okay. Um, but yeah, it, it definitely um, all those things came up in your card so I'd say just and I want to say take some rest as well so it's like you know I don't know if there's someone around you that sort of has your energy um, you know you sort of need to have your energy quite high there's something about just taking a, a moment's rest from that um, I, I just keep hearing I want some peace and quiet um, so yeah so that's what's coming up for you Laura I hope that can I hope that makes some sense for you I'm so thirsty and I didn't bring a drink in oh don't you love that? <laughs> um. Rashida, can you tell me anything about my daughter with special needs? I don't know if I can tell you too much right now in this setting, but let's pull some cards and see what comes up. Absolutely. Um, yes, love and light to you, Laura. Thank you for your feedback. Always much appreciated. You're very welcome. Um, and just for anyone that joined that missed it, um, please feel free to join my Facebook group. There is a page and there is a group. Um, the group is much more interactive. It's where we have workshops and mini readings and often I'll come off here and go on there and do more readings and um, yeah, I try to get on there as much as I can. Um, and um, you know, it's, it's, a beautiful place to be you know it is it is really nice so um if you want to join please feel free it is a closed group um but if you join i will approve it when i hop off here so all right so rashida what i want to say is despondent so this is sort of saying there's something about not being a hundred percent yeah it's interesting um it's about um you know taking a break and not feeling the guilt of wanting to do um too much um or feeling the guilt of everything that's right or wrong i want to say to you uh, it's called clarify my journey sorry sarah um clarify my journey is what it's called um so yeah so it, it's about um not being too hard on yourself when things don't go to plan or when things that you know people aren't gonna um or she may not it might be her or someone else but people don't remember it in a week's time or a month or a year so 
don't be too hard on yourself. I feel like, you know, you're very gentle and soft and nurturing, but there's a side of you that can be quite hard on yourself about things and, and can really get, um, you know, feel the guilt or feel some emotion that comes up from that. Um, so there's a sense of, you know, there's times where you want to pull your hair out and there's other times where you're handling it beautifully. That is all completely normal. Um, then you've got the service card because that is part of your pur purpose is to be of service to others. Um, so, you know, this is why she chose you. Um, this is why she chose you. That is just as simple as I want me to leave it. Um, the next one is opportunity not, so go for it. There is a bigger opportunity that awaits you. Um, April is going to be extremely significant for you. Um, so just be aware that that is there as well. So um, big opportunities on their way. So, um, hey, Kelly. Oh, thank you. Oh, I love that. Thanks so much, Kelly. Beautiful. Hey, Jason. Um, okay. <laughs> Name of it, Wendy, is called Clarify My Journey. So, Carrie, Kit, let's see what's here. Will I get a new contract this week? Will you get a new contract this week? I'm not really doing yes or no's. Um, I'll pull a, card, a couple of cards and see what comes up, though. I'm more than happy to do that. Um... Yeah. Oh, thanks, Kelly. I love having you there too. Such beautiful energy and just a uh, gorgeous woman. All right. Let's see what comes up. So these cards aren't specific to yes or no. So it can be a little tricky, but if they give me something, um, there's something about no coming up. There's a no. Um, but there's something bigger or better or it's worth the wait they're telling me that it's not like the end of something it's just the beginning so it's like you know not everything is going to go to plan or there's going to be some sort of delay um and they're telling me that there's something about worth waiting for so um not all is what it seems so hold on to that see what that brings you uh, Carrie, that's what they're telling me. Um, it's saying don't become complacent. Um, it's having the faith. So that when things don't go exactly to plan, it's like having the faith about something much better coming along or something exciting coming along. Um, this is really keeping faith when, um, you know, things can be tough um, or things don't go to plan. So this is saying, you know, we have your back. We have everything under control. Um, and it's just more about sort of... Um, you know, keeping the faith and trusting what's happening is for a reason. Um, the other one is complacency. So make sure there's something bigger and better there for you, Carrie. I want to, I want to say that you're probably not going to, there's something about moving in the direction of up. Okay, so I don't know whether that's in the same industry or whether it's something different, but there is something about expanding or moving upwards. It's going upwards. So it, it takes a little bit of a lull and then it's like it goes up. So I see like this graph and it's like sort of doing this, you know, up and down and then it sort of goes like, mm, and then it sort of goes like, whoa, there we go. And it just starts to pick up now. So um, this is saying have faith, be patient, just know that what's for you is coming. Um, it is worth the wait. That is what I want to say to you. Um, there is something exciting happening at the end of the week. I don't know if that's going to be the contract, but there is something happening around Thursday or Friday morning. Um, so be aware that that is there. I don't know if it's that or something else, but they're saying don't be, don't have any, don't despair. It's going to be worth the wait if it doesn't. So yeah, it's sort of a little bit, you know, don't become too complacent. Um, keep the faith. Um, and there's something about things taking a big um, shift in direction very soon. Very soon. Um, so yeah. All I would say to you is to just continue to trust because that's what it's all about, right? Um, and they're saying it's worth the wait. So no matter what happens, it'll be okay. Um, there is something, like I say, Thursday afternoon or Friday morning. So um, either way, it'll be good. Either way, it'll be good. So I hope that helps you, lovely. Um, I think my time's up, but let's try. Tennille O'Brien, let's see what comes up for you, lovely.
something about a love of animals for you, Tennille. There's something about you having a really warm heart where you can't handle. Um, you're, you're a right humanitarian. You are born to be a humanitarian. So whether you're feeling that now or down the track, there is something about helping animals and, you know, things that aren't right. It's like you want to stand up for what's right. So make sure you really stand up and use that voice for good because you could be, um, you know, could be quite powerful with that voice if you when you really believe in something you know you get your point across for sure um soulmate so this is either relationships or trying to find someone um to uh you know wanting to settle down it's like that soulmate sort of energy so it can mean that we've met our soulmate or it can mean that it's quite important for us to meet our soulmate so either way just take some time out and just have some patience around this um be aware of the hips the legs the lower back groin area um it's a fear of moving forward and opening up our heart so just be aware that that's there that's our um, base chakra and then there's guilt so it's saying that there might be something that you or someone close to you is feeling a little bit guilty for um and there's a there's a need to sort of just let go of that guilt um it's it's like you know a relationship needs repairing or a conversation needs to be had um there is something about not delaying anything any anymore so um you know that that's what i would that's what i would sort of say on that situation and the next one is there's a miracle so things look up really really brightly for you very 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 soon uh not right this minute doesn't mean things can't be great but there's the, there is a miracle coming um and that means something quite unexpected expected um comes your way and gives you great um great great excitement you know there, there's something definitely worth being happy about um and that you feel right in here so um i also feel like somebody will uh, be getting a new car doesn't need to be new new but there's, they're showing me a car and beeping which means that somebody will be um, purchasing a new car this year or soon um, and they're showing me just keep doing um, your beautiful work so there's something about you being able to do it just generally um, and you will make it into a career if you want to so um, you know very gentle soul with a great heart um, yes it does Jason it has a hummingbird on it absolutely they are my spirit animals so yes you found it yay um but yes i would just say to you you know don't forget who you are just know that there is some great things there for you and even though things don't happen when we expect them or how we expect them to happen this is really saying just expect a miracle there is something really great coming to you and i know what i feel it is you need to take what you feel it is and then you can just let me know and we can both be excited but some really great things to be stay positive about so Good luck to you. I wish you all the very best. Thank you for everyone that joined. And as I say, please join my Facebook group if you love all this sort of stuff. Um, it's called Clarify My Journey. It does have a hummingbird on it with blue writing. Um, and there is a page and there is a group. It's the closed group you want to join. That's where I come on. So um, I would love to see you there. Have a great week ahead, guys. Thanks again for joining. And I hope you can tune in next Tuesday at 7.15. Bye, guys. Bye.